Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson 91, Sketching Leprechaun. It's a lazy Sunday. I'm doing chores and stuff. Just finished washing and folding my clothes. Then I, outside, I noticed a squirrel outside on the tree in this blustery weather. So I took, took some shots of him. And uh, he's a plump little feller. So now I thought I'd get my GoPro happening with a little helmet and maybe shoot a little uh, how to sketch deal. Alrighty, grab my pad, and these are my um, Blackwing 602 Palominos. These are actually the same pencil used by Chuck Jones. And if you're a cartoonist or an animator, you know who Chuck Jones is. <laughs> Start doing some sketches of a leprechaun. I like this one. I think it's a looks like a girl, but maybe I'll do a variation of that. And I like the hat. That's pretty cool. This is kind of a different design for me. I usually don't do leprechauns like this, but it's really good to explore and try different things. And it kind of kind of pushes you in, in new directions so yeah when you're designing windows it's good to um, come up with uh, new designs and new characters but I like I like this little I like this little girl leprechaun it's very cute or I, I guess it could be a boy And I don't know, can leprechauns be females? <laughs> but check out her eyes, they're very cute and big. So you look at spaces, like you can, to, for placement, you can like, like right here, you can look to see how far that is. You see that side of the eye is really close. And then you figure from there to there and a little bit more, you just kind of eyeball the and the eyes are really big. I usually don't make eyes this big, but makes them cute. And she has some tiny little lashes. And a little tiny nose. Actually, that's a little bit big. Because if you start making the nose big, makes it more more masculine so if you're doing any St. Patrick's Day windows it's good to maybe sketch out some designs she got a tiny little mouth it took me forever to learn how to do cute characters and you kind of come back in and put a little chin hair. She's got cute hair. <laughs> She's pretty cute so far. And I don't even know if I'm going to be doing any St. Patrick's Day windows. I don't always do them. I did do some leprechauns this year and last year too. And she has a tiny little neck. And a little body. Her body is about the same as her head, the height of her head. And her arms come down like that.
a little bow tie and you can change up parts of it too it doesn't matter so this is her bottom part and then this this you can make as a circle to begin with and then you can come in and put the little pieces to it Her bottom comes down here, and her hand, the hand here, hand here, and instead of making one or a bunch of little ones, I'd make one big one. I think it's more dynamic. It looks better. little feet on the top of the mushroom That's cool, that little snail, too. <laughs> you know, the sketch doesn't have to be perfect, because you're going to take it with you, and you can refine it more, or you can refine it more on the window, too. The other thing you do, you can just print this out too, but it's fun when you sketch it out, then you get a feel for it, the shapes, the sizes, you know, and, and it just, and it's, it's good, it's good practice, you know, to practice what you see, to try to do it. I myself would add a little butterfly to this. <laughs> So anyway, there's the sketch and uh, kind of a cute little design for St. Patrick's Day. All right, well, thanks for watching me on this blustery Sunday and hope you enjoyed this little short tutorial on how to paint a leprechaun, how to draw a leprechaun. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. See you tomorrow. <laughs>